2007 Halloween, and the same thing they do every movie that comes out, no matter what it is. The first cut, the work print, the work print is taken to a focus group at a theater or in an office or whatever. And Rob Zombie was there too when they did this. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of bad news, people. I'm here to tell you a lot of bad. Well, two sources is where it came from, really. And and let's let's go ahead and put it in perspective. The two people that gave the spoiler review both admitted to not liking Rob Zombie at all. So that, in the Ghost Hunter world, is what we call investigator bias, which means you're going in with your mind already made up, basically. It's already clouded. It's Yeah, you, you already got a preconceived notion of what you're going into. For example, if you know the story of a haunted place and you go ghost hunt it, you're biased because you know what you're looking for and what to expect. So, the two people who did the thing, not Rob Zombie fans. Um, a lot of what it was was these people gave their own opinion and view of H2 and also eavesdropped on all the other people in the focus group given their opinion to the people in the clipboards that I broke once at a Jason X. So, here's the thing. We want to put everyone's mind at ease is what we want to do. With my mind at ease. That's the hard one. <laughs> Halloween 2007, we got the work print. We got the movie that was shown to the focus group. And if any of you guys have the work print or the director's cut, which is almost the work print, kind of. The yep. rape scene and. Uh, kind of the work print. Yeah, a few other things. Nothing really, but the work print like had different songs. Um, different the scenes dialogue. were cut different, different dialogue. Yeah extra scenes yeah. and um, such as that and then when the theatrical came out way different from the work print yeah. I mean a, a lot of lot of differences so like that rape scene that was in the in work the work print, print yeah. was completely not in the theatrical Gone. They instead they He's, did the uh, the reshoot of the guards yeah the guards getting slaughtering the guards Bill Mosley and Leslie Easterbrook from Devil's Rejects getting like and Tom Tallis from, from House of a Thousand and shit yep getting brutalized. Fucked up. Let's not beat around the bush. They get slaughtered. Ugh. So what this focus group saw is not the Halloween 2 that's going to be hitting August 28th. It's not. What the focus group does is say, okay, for example, Sherry Moon zombie scenes. A lot of the people in the focus group did not like it at all. So 
we may see a reduction of Sherry Moon zombie scenes. She's not going to get deleted. We've explained that over and over again. It's not going to happen. I can't see Rob Zombie sleeping on a couch. No, I wouldn't delete her. I, would, I wouldn't completely cut her out of the loop. I would. Enhance. Exactly. Enhance. 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 No delete. Enhance. Enhance. So, uh, and, and there was a few other things. If you guys want to read the spoiler, I'll put the link up. I would suggest don't even waste your goddamn time. Again, the two people from the focus group were biased, and a lot of the a lot of the complaints, if you will, were about Sherry Moon zombie scenes and the end. Now, as we reported before, Rob Zombie went back and did some reshooting, so that may have something to do with it, which is the same thing he did in 07. And we'll see what happens. I don't want I don't want my killers to worry. Halloween 2 is going to kick ass. And if it doesn't, I'll be the first one in front of this camera saying, sorry, I fucked up. But as far as I see it, I think H2 is going to be all right. Focus groups are focus groups. That's, you know, they're they're underpaid critics. Because they don't get paid at all. Exactly. So, you know, they're just critics. And again, these guys didn't like zombies. So, rest rest your heads on your pillows easy and drift away into, into horror land. And you're going to be fine. We just wanted to put that out there. If you want to read the spoiler, it's in there. But I would suggest uh, masturbating with a cheese grater and getting the same effect. Moving on. Our horror hound, AVZ Spike. I wanted to call him a stalker, but he didn't like it. No. It's cool. I mean, it takes a special breed to be called a stalker. That's right. I have court records to back it up. Anyway, yes, it does. so, uh, and Anime Angel also uh, sent us some info on this too. Teaser trailer for Fear Clinic is available to check out, and it's really Holy easy to find. Holy shit, not Fear Clinic. Yeah! Oh, shit. I know! <laughs> this is drying my eyeball out. See how I did that? Didn't even reveal the top of my head. All right. So just go to fearnet.com and you'll find it right there. Also, a new addition has been brought into the Fear Clinic. A horror veteran. Lisa Wilcox. Oh, the cunt from Halloween. I mean, from Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> five. I knew one day you'd do it. I knew one day he would do it. I knew it. Cool. I don't feel so bad now. So yeah, Lisa Wilcox from Nightmare Night. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street, four and five, and like the rest. She's gonna be joining in the fun, so uh, look she's, forward to that. She sucked ass too because I read an interview with Tuesday Night, the one who took over uh, uh, Marquette's role in four, and she said that she was a bitch, man. Oh, she, like, oh yeah, ruined yeah. her life. Really? Yeah, really? yeah, like fucked like her some over. Melrose Place drama. Yeah, shit? like some real shit. I'll bring oh. over the magazine so you can read it. It's pretty. Crazy. Intense? Yeah. I like intense. Yeah, me too. So that's going to be coming out in October. I think what they're going to do is a webisode a week from the beginning of October all the way down to Halloween. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. Yeah. And as we reported before with the Scream 4, that rhymes, eh, turns out Nev Campbell's back at the negotiation table. She's in the fold. In the fold. Just right at the horizontal highway. <laughs> Smack dab in the middle of it. She's a man in the boat. Yeah, she is. So, we'll keep up with that. Uh, rumor is that she's holding out for a couple more zeros at the end. But, she's at the negotiation table, so Nev Campbell may return to Scream 4. So, thanks again for our horror hound. That's what we're just going to call him, the horror hound. And three clips from The Collector. Yep, they're up and available at bloodydisgusting.com. We're going to be right back. Time flies. We're going to be right back. Nightmare on Elm Street.